Hey everyone, I'm standing here with Tom Bailey in front of his uh, Camaro that he does drag week with, and he just went 599 at 50. Yep, correct. So, uh, you drove, what was the mileage on drag week? Uh, it was like it, 750. About 750 miles, drove it, and then on the last pass of the last day, the whole event pretty much, right? Went yeah. 599 at 250. Yeah, we went 607 and then we made the adjustment in the tune up and then we came back up and then they're like, hey, like, we're going to let you go last after everything. So it was kind of like the cool. <laughs> World Series bottom of the ninth, two <laughs> outs, two strikes. That's and, awesome. But made it happen. Um, so how many, you've done drag week for many years, right? Yeah, I think I've done it nine times. And then you had, what was the first car you did in it? I know, the only two cars I know of is this one and then uh, six second. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. In the Embarrow ground car, it's another six nine Camaro, okay. so it was uh, um, like an eight second car. So, okay. and that was the first one I did. That the first year, first year, second year, third year was then was six one point oh. Okay. So, so it's been a progression of technology, cars, kind of the whole event and everything, right? Yeah, trial and error. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. No doubt. So, um, now this car has. A different engine in it, Correct. kind of for yep. this year that you guys you've worked with Steve Morris on. Correct. Yep. And this has, yeah, an SMX or whatever, which we've done a couple different renditions of engines in this car or whatever. Sure. But then uh, to just try yes. to figure out the longevity and that type of thing. Yeah. Well, it got down to like the other. We had 615 cubic inches or whatever. It just yeah. got down to where we need to run higher RPM than 615 can run. So okay. This is a 526. Okay. So, cool. And. Uh, Basically, I mean, just a water jacketed platform that, I mean, it has the technology of everything that we've learned over the years as far as lifter design, rocker arm design, everything. And I mean, cool. we drive it on the street and we race it the same way. I mean, we don't take anything off the car. So we just got done with SEMA here. Uh, I fired the car up in the booth and drove it over here to the Ignite after party. And it's, I mean, you've driven it a bunch. What, what do you kind of do in between tracks or to change it over from racing to um, street duty? Uh, there's a couple valves we have to change and just flip the tune up or whatever because we race on alcohol at the track sure. and then we drive on gasoline. It's got two fuel cells, the one in the back for the street and then the one on the front for the track. Um, and then two different sets of fuel injectors? Nope, it runs three sets of injectors and we just have bleed valves so we bleed out the gas and okay. switch over to alcohol. Cool. But we race on three sets because um, we use an OEM style injector and it'll okay. make those big enough sure. for what we do. And like we've ran two. So you're high impedance on all of the. Correct. Okay, yep. cool. So that's a, that's interesting because that's what a lot of people battle, right? Is the the big injectors will do fine on alcohol, but they won't idle, especially yeah. if you go to gasoline. Yeah, the others, the other that we found is just longevity. I mean, that they just basically okay. end up rebuilding to get one stick open or whatever. I mean, they're just not. They're not designed for the duty cycle that the street use gets. Okay, so. I see. So then it, you're working them in an area they're not. They're not so, yeah, yeah. So on some of the street stuff, is the cooling an issue with the car, or does it do super well? Or you no, also throw a trailer fine. behind it, right? Yep. No, it does fine. It's got a big ass radiator in it. So yeah. If you guys have ever seen pictures of the car, the radiator is gigantic in the front of it. So. Um, you take the grill out, in and out for... Yeah, there's a cover. Basically, there's just a block rock cover yep. to, for the air or whatever going down the track. That's the, like the stance right now or whatever is in street stance. Sure. So it's about three inches higher than it will be on the track. All, all the way so, across the whole correct. car? Okay. Yep. So what do you do to get the so, extra three inches? Uh, there's adjusters on the front cups and we just run those out. Okay. And that'll raise up the front. Back's got an air cool. shock, a single air shock. That, that'll help. Yeah, that. that just pumps it up or whatever for holding the trainer. So, because that's where like, like 1.0 and the other cars sure, don't have it. Weight. But this is like, you're you're there on the edge. So yeah. therefore like everything has to be exactly right. So you got to try and save the shocks as much <laughs> as possible. Yeah, yeah so, you're, you're not one to wear out all your good race equipment driving down the road and everything else. Now the, the windows go up and down. Correct. Yep, them, power and, windows. Yep. And then you these are the same doors you run yep. all the time. You don't change doors or anything. Yeah. yeah, so yeah that's really there's cool. a recess in here. So when the window goes up, it goes right inside there. But the car so, was never built. Like the body originally didn't have that, right? So that's all custom to. Well, we did the body special for, for what this. we were doing. I got so, you. Yeah. So, so they, everything's a one-off like mold design or whatever cool. for everything. So really good. And then uh, you had a pro charger on car before this one right so well yeah the first car whatever the indian barrel ground car had a pro charger okay so and, and then, then when i went to 1.0 when i got 1.0 from benny terzik 
they had it ran as a pro charge car. Oh, so okay. the engine, the drivetrain I already had was in my Indian Barrel Ground car, but it couldn't go. Um, it was only certain to go 750. I see. So, and that drivetrain could go faster. So we were going to build another car, and so it just so happened that that one was available, and it's like so that cut out two years of the build process. Sure. Jumped into that. So, and but I always ran that car as a turbo car. So. Oh, okay, I got you. And now you're in the onto this. Yep. What else do you do with the car? So well, you do the dragging stuff, but you also run some other classes. Stuff with it too, right? Yeah, we run some, purpose. yeah, some run with your wrong or whatever, and yeah. like uh, basically any pro mod type stuff. stuff so you can run with the car and yeah, because it's basically it's legal pro mod. So basically, like right now, it's got 98 turbos on it, but we have 88s for it. Oh, okay. We put the 88s on, and now with the 526, we're in the QB Gench, then you, and we can run legal pro mod at any cool. event. So. so it's not just a one trick. I mean, you can drive it, run pro mod. Do drag week stuff like that. That's correct. You uh you went 599. All that worked out well. Are is there any plans on changing it? Try to go quicker. Looking forward. Yeah, I mean the combination. I mean the first with this combination, the first eighth mile pass, let alone quarter mile pass, was day one of drag week. So that that, very I mean, fresh. We had it in like yeah three weeks, three weeks before that we were able to do some testing in Indy or whatever. But I mean for an NHRA event, but we got one pass. Sure. And. Uh, so we had just were working on the 300 foot until the first day of drag week, and then it's like, okay, well, <laughs> now we're gonna go eighth and quarter at the same time. So, so drag week per day was just testing and learning the whole combo anyway. Yeah, correct, and that's where, and then so like the last day, it's like we don't necessarily know that, like we know what it can do, but yeah, we absolutely. hadn't been there yet. So it's like, so we made some adjustments to it, and like, I mean, for example, on that 599 pass, we went a 407. Yep. Um, to the eighth or whatever. We've been 390 to the eighth. So um, with this car, so it's like. So you knew the so car was there. So you know that there. there's stuff there yeah. that we can build on that. We figure we could probably run 70s with it. That'd so. be awesome. But now that's pushing it to go 70s or living all week. It's a. Or not, so not so much. I mean, basically the way everything's been designed is. I mean, it's pretty reliable. It's pretty pretty good to where we're not leaning sure. on it too hard or whatever doing that. Sure. So. so that's you've just kind of built the whole car to do that but also live within it means more or less of where you're trying to go with it. Correct. So that's cool. Well if Tom's anybody to say like street car or no car I mean you got one of the baddest cars on the planet but it's also drivable you take it out you enjoy it. Correct. Yeah I mean it's it's a street legal pro mod I mean yeah. it kind of is what it yeah, is. Yeah. It's, it's on the edge. It's on the so. ultimate side of it I mean and you earn it throughout the week driving it's not the most comfortable thing i'm sure to drive yep yeah it actually doesn't ride that bad not I mean, too bad though temperature wise though i mean there's no enclosure so whatever the train sure. step is that's what the car temp that's is. what you that's so. where you're at so you're uh sitting next to a hot tranny pretty much all week yep. but something that's kind of cool that we were talking about on the car is uh the weight because it is a pro mod but it still has a radiator and everything else to live on the street so what does it weigh so 2850 2850 is the total weight with the whole car that's a billet block right and everything yep. but uh and a pro mod that runs the vents is 2600 and weigh 2600 so it's a little on the heavier side but not not crazy heavy for what it is i appreciate your time and talking about it it's a pretty cool car if anybody hasn't followed it make sure you guys check it out as well thanks for watching that video thanks to tom for giving the time to talk about six second 2.0 that is now a 599 250 mile an hour street car if you'd like to see the pass at the end of drag week uh, I'll go ahead and link the 1320 video below and go to about the 18 minute mark and you can see what happened there at the end of drag week, see the pass and all of that stuff. If you'd like to follow more on Tom's car, I'll go ahead and link his uh, social media handles here on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching another video. If you would, please hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time.